there's this idea in our culture that you either take from the world or you give to the world. Either you're a greedy person and you take everything you can get, or you're a generous person and you give everything you can give. And then there's various uh, stages between this. You know, it's a big gray area. So which do you choose? Greed or generosity? Well, this reminds me of uh, a, a riddle that we ask each other a lot. There are various forms of this, but basically it goes something like, if you had to, would you rather chop off your arm or your leg? And people will generally pick one because we've become so used to you know, answering the, the ridiculous question. What, you know, would you rather chop off your arm or your leg? And people will say, oh, my arm or my leg, ignoring the, the obvious which is neither. Why would you chop off your arm or your leg? The answer is neither. The answer should always be neither. I'm not going to do either of those things. They're both stupid. You know, would you rather kill your mother or your father? You know, if you had to. It's like neither. If you had no choice. No, I have a choice. I always have a choice. I'm not going to do either of those things. I will fight to the death before I do either of those stupid choices. But it's very easy to present this game and, you know, just by saying, oh, you know, if you had no choice. And it just shoves all reason under the carpet. And, uh, you know, puts people into this mindset where it's like, well, I have to choose between one of these two things. So those two things in this case are generosity or greed. And what's being shoved under the carpet is the fact that neither of these choices makes any sense whatsoever because you can't take from the world or give to the world because you are piece of the world. The idea that we're, we're somehow separate from the world around us um, is, is now at the point where it's built into our language. Like it's difficult to talk about the idea that we are not separate from from the world around us it's built into our culture and our ideas it's a self-reinforcing thing at this point and uh, it's it's totally nuts um, let me give you an example to maybe illustrate a little bit of this <clears throat> say you're in the bathtub and you get a rumble in your tummy and you're like "Ooh, some diarrhea is coming out of me for sure do you sit in the bathtub and just let it go? Or do you hop out and do it somewhere else? Well, generally speaking, people hop out of the bathtub because they recognize that if they, they poop in their own bathwater, they're going to be swimming in their own filth and it's on them and they don't like it. And, oh, it's gross. It's, oh, they've, they've just ruined their ah, everything. It sucks. But it's a very temporary and fleeting thing because once they get out of the bathwater, they, then they don't think of the bathwater as part of themselves anymore. And they don't think of the air as part of themselves or, or anything else that is really affecting them directly. But the thing is, you are in the world like you are in the bathwater. <clears throat> when you poop figuratively or even literally on the world, you are pooping in your own water. You're pooping in your world. When you put out anger and hatred, you know, you're know you creating an environment of anger and hatred around you. Um, and so the idea that you can either take or give to the world <clears throat> doesn't make any sense because that neglects one thing or the other. You can't... You can't destroy eight people's lives and take a bunch of money and and say that somehow you've gained something. Yeah, you can get you know a bigger number in your bank account, but but it's not worth anything real because you've diminished the the overall value of the world around you, of which you are a piece. And our culture is is so. Uh, kind of brainwashed into thinking 
thinking of individual people as separate from other people and separate from the environment and separate from everything that it's difficult to even convey the concept because people who have that I am I am a solitary thing mindset they'll say what so am I just supposed to be nice to everyone now because I'm part of them and to someone who thinks about the world and themselves as as the same thing it just doesn't make any sense that that comment is just ridiculous it's sort of like saying sort of like one person saying hey the sky is blue and the other person saying it's not made out of pickles and you're just like what it doesn't make any sense i mean you're just in some mindset where pickles have something to do with the sky it is it's totally it's totally stupid and that's what it is all these all these lines of division be- that people put between themselves and other things or between their group and other things you know people draw all these all these lines all over the planet these little imaginary lines to divide up one country from another and and then they say well if, if you're on this side of the line you're this kind of person and if you're on that side of the line you're the other kind of person and and our country's better so that makes us better than them and we don't like them as much as we like the people here and then you know you've got your sports teams and oh I'm I'm this kind of fan and I don't like you because you're that kind of fan or or you know I'm a I'm a male so I don't like women or I'm a woman so I don't like men and there's all these divisions we keep making that just make no sense at all <clears throat> because we're all connected we're all the same stuff we're even made out of the same stuff in fact pieces of me that I breathe out or poop out will end up in another human being. I'm, I'm sorry about that, but you know, I'll poop in the ground and it'll turn into some plant. And if someone eats part of that plant, some of those molecules are in there. So like, we're just like all intermingled junk. Um, the only, the only reason to think about yourself as an individual is because out of the whole world, you're the only speck of that stuff that you get to control directly. You know, it's like there's this this sea of water and you're just a drop. You're just the same stuff as everything else, but you get to control that drop. You have a lot of power over that one drop. <clears throat> so it's important to realize that responsibility and do your best and try to make the sea, the universe, the, the everything around you better as much as you can now it's a difficult concept if you're not used to it if you've grown up in the same world i did where everything is either you're greedy or you're generous or somewhere between this nonsensical garbage so i encourage everyone to try to realize that you are just part of everything else and it'll be difficult when someone is coming at you with a bunch of aggression because they've decided that you're different than them and you know they need to bully you or something and that doesn't mean you have to go up and give them a hug and then get punched in the face but just realize that you're a part of them and they are a part of you and maybe that will help you find uh, find better ways of dealing with things because we really do need to find better ways of dealing with things than dividing dividing and fighting which is basically what our culture is right now you know we've got all these different countries and they bomb each other and they hate each other and uh, and people from one neighborhood hate the people from the other neighborhood because they don't live here and ah the biggest problem with that is that we as a you know as humans have developed enough technology to literally wipe out the entire human race so if we want to survive into the future, which you know I would like to and I would like to have a nice world for my kids, we have to start realizing that we're not against each other. We're all, we're all in the same thing together. Because otherwise, it's just a matter of time before someone sets off some nukes or lets out some terrible disease or, you know, just or before, you know, eventually we're just going to pollute the planet to the point where it's it's not survivable by humans. You know, there's all this stuff. We need to start working together and figure out how to make the world more habitable for ourselves than less habitable for ourselves. So how do you put this into practice in everyday life? Uh, well, one obvious way would be to not choose disposable options. 
So like, uh, say you have a choice between a disposable cup and a cup you wash. You, you know, if you take the disposable cup, you're just going to throw it in the garbage and that instantly reduces the value of that thing. Which instantly reduces the, the overall value of the world. In terms of, you know, supporting human life. Because the more garbage we create, the, the harder it is to live. Okay, another example is if I have something that I know someone else wants and someone else can use, I'll often just say to myself, well, is it more valuable to me or is it more valuable to this other person? And if it's more valuable to the other person, I'll often just give it to them. Now, um, a really obvious case of this is when you have a mango tree and the mangoes come out and suddenly you have 800 mangoes that you can't all eat. You can't, you can't even do it, you, even if you tried to preserve them all. You're, you're not even going to get through half of them. But those will be valuable to other people. And they have, the ones you're not going to use have no value to you. So just give them to people. You know, it's <laughs> deciding that they have value because other people want them. And then withholding them just makes life more difficult for people around you and in turn makes your life more difficult. Because then you sit there guarding this stuff that has no real value to you. It's garbage. Because you, you've, already, you know, you've already collected the amount that you can possibly use and then you've got another 600 mangoes that you could not possibly eat or stuff in your freezer or whatever. Just give them to people because you are losing nothing but they are gaining something and that increases the overall value of the world and that's that's the way we need to start thinking if we want to uh, you know if we just want to keep surviving and and be happier in the world all right I'm gonna go do something